Welcome back to this week's episode of Viking Vision. We are your anchors, Remy and Samantha. Now let's jump into this week's newscast. March Madness is reaching its climax with only a few teams remaining in the tournament. We are displaying posters of all the eliminated teams in the lower quad and in the counselor's hallway. For more information and free access to all March Madness games, visit the website ncaa.com and don't miss the final game on April 4th. Good luck to the remaining teams. We have an important video to help inform you of our school's expectations of Viking Pride. This week we are discussing participation, responsibility, and integrity. I'm Layla and I'm here to discuss the first three aspects of Pride. Participation can be something as simple as taking part in a class discussion or by dressing up in our spirit weeks. Joining any of our school sports and our clubs is a great way to participate on school grounds or by joining the fun during lunch activities that are held once in a while on special occasions. Responsibility is doing something on your own because you know you have to, and it's okay if we make a couple mistakes on the way as long as we are able to admit it and try to fix it ourselves. Also, picking up our trash is a way to be responsible at school, especially after we're done eating lunch. It can really help the staff and it keeps our school nice and clean. And I'm sure you all don't want to be walking around school with food scraps and wrappers on the floor. Be on time to your next class and don't stop to talk to your friends. You can do that before or after school. Turning in your work is obviously a big one and I believe that we struggle with this from time to time. But just know that you have to make this up sooner or later. Integrity is basically doing the right thing even when no one's watching. Please be honest to yourselves, your teachers, and the students around you. I know how tempting it may be to just slip in a fake doctor's note to get out of PE or a fake grade to your parents, but at the end of the day, you're going to accomplish nothing out of it. Like for responsibility, we have to work together to keep our school clean. So how about whenever we see trash on the floor, what if it's yours or not, let's pick it up and throw it away. Next week, we'll be discussing about determination and empathy. Now, back to you guys at the studio. Thank you, ladies, for that session about Pride. We appreciate your hard work and great explanations of our school's expectations. Listen up. As you all know, the Cal Soap program has extended the deadline for financial aid up until April 1st. You have one day left to complete it. With that being said, the pizza party is still available to the winning class who finishes with a 100%. So far, Mr. Snyder's sixth period AP Econ class is in the lead with only four more students left to reach the 100% completion. We will update you next week with the class winner. The theater department is having a performance right after spring break. Make sure to go to their opening night on April 20th at 7 p.m. to show your full support. If you can't make it that night, well, don't worry because you're in luck. There are three more performances after that the 21st and the 22nd at 7 p.m. and Saturday the 23rd at 2 p.m. All performances will be in Demella Hall. Pre-sale tickets are $5 until April 19th, $8 at the door, and $6 with student ID. Do you want to win $500 for our school and partner with friends and family to help keep Bakersfield beautiful? Our mayor has more information. Hello, I'm Mayor Karen Go. Your school could win $500 of my own money for having the most volunteers for the Mayor's Great American Cleanup High School Challenge. Volunteer with friends and family from 8 to 10 a.m. You'll get credit for your school's volunteer requirement. After that, come join me for a free barbecue award ceremony and more. Help us keep Bakersfield beautiful and sign up today to join the Great American Cleanup on Saturday, April 3rd. We need as many people as possible to participate in order to win. Grab your teachers, friends, and family, and let's come together to keep our city beautiful. As you know, the third quarter has ended and the fourth quarter has started. You've come so this far, so don't throw everything you've worked so hard for out the window. We know how exhausting and frustrating it's been with testing six weeks since our last break. The change of seasons. Who wouldn't want to be outside enjoying the warm temperatures? But don't worry, there are only nine weeks left of school. Now here's Emily with a quote of the day and some fun facts. The quote is by Paul Jones. 
is a one down piece. So don't stop using your questions like me. Now that's the girl in the studio. So keep going, keep moving forward, and believe in yourself. Don't stop now when you almost reach the end. Make this last quarter of the year count. As of today, there are officially 41 days left in this school year, so let's end it off strong. Hey guys, today we're here with Sergeant Calico of the National Guard, and he's here to talk more about what the Army National Guard has to offer and how you can get involved. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey Vikings, my name is Sergeant Calico. I'm with the Army National Guard. I am a career counselor, but something a little about me, I've been in the community of Bakersfield for about 15 years, and I actually graduated at BHS, class of 2015. All right, uh, I'm actually a single parent. Uh, my son will be four in May. Uh, two fun facts about me is I like quotes, and I play hockey, and I play pickup every now and then. So if you guys play hockey, I might see you at the ice rink from time to time. That's really cool. So. What services and other opportunities does the National Guard provide? Perfect, that's a great question. So the Army National Guard, we are a branch of the Army, right? There's three branches. You have the active component reserves, which they kind of fall in line with each other, and you have the National Guard. We're very unique because we have a dual mission, right? We're actually tied to the United States, and because we're California National Guard, we're tied to the state. As well as that federal component, which like the other military service branches are, we help support and assist when it comes to humanitarian aid missions and things overseas like conflicts. Just to kind of give you an example is the National Guard deals with internal problems. One of the biggest events that people still remember to this day is Hurricane Katrina. And in Hurricane Katrina was one of the largest deployments that the National Guard has ever seen. About almost half a million soldiers were deployed within a two year time frame, rebuilding all the levees down there in Louisiana. And so that's some of the things that we kind of do. So when you guys think of like the Marvel Avengers or the Justice League, that's the National Guard. So we suit up whenever there's a time of danger and people need help in rescuing and it's time to be a hero. Some of the like service and opportunities that you guys can do is we are a military branch. So when you go to basic training and you want to learn a job skill, right, that MOA, military occupational specialty you can use that skill and apply it to the real world so we are part-time so you're part-time military military full-time on what you want to do so if you're that student that's like hey i need help paying for college perfect national guard sounds like for you because you come in this becomes part-time and you're going to receive all the college benefits that you receive that the military gives you and literally you can go to school for free and get paid while going to school because it's full-time college student part-time military if you're like me i wanted to be like han from fast and furious and i became a mechanic i became a mechanic because i wasn't ready for college yet i wanted to go into the workforce so i learned uh, 91 Bravo, light diesel mechanic from the National Guard. I did that course. I came back to Bakersfield and I literally got a job at BMW of Bakersfield. And I was working for my ASC, my mechanic certifications, but there was an opportunity in the National Guard for me to do more full-time things, learn more about mechanics and do more public speaking courses, leadership courses, and inevitably become a career counselor. So speaking more about requirements, do you need like anything physically or is it? So physically, um, when it comes to physical stuff, I would need like, yeah, your social security card, your birth certificate. If you're not a US citizen, if you have your I-55, like uh, permanent green card, uh, that's one of the things. Now, if you're not a US citizen, or you don't have an I-55 card, which is the, the permanent resident, then unfortunately, I can't work with you until you get that. But being physically prowless, we do have a height and weight standard. I can tell you that standard when the individual wants to make an appointment with me. Mm -hmm. But um, you don't have to be like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, super fit. You don't have to be this cross country. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that when I went to basic training, none of them went to the gym, lifted weight, nothing like that. Basic training is they set the standard low and they teach you at a crawling phase, right? You gotta crawl. Learn to crawl, learn to walk, learn to run. And it goes through phases. So regardless if you're at like a physical prowess, you might be weak on other things. Yeah. It could be communication, it could be leadership skills. So everyone has an asset when you're at basic training, when you're there, when working as a team. How would someone be able to get more information on the National Guard? Perfect, great question. So if you want more information about the Army National Guard, uh, you can contact me. Again, my name is Sergeant Calico. Uh, my Instagram is caliguard underscore calico. Um, my phone number I can provide to you when you Instagram me, DM me. I will have an email provided um, that should be on the segment, I believe. And then, um, yeah, I'm located off of 2800 Gateway Avenue. So if some of you kids go to ROC right there off of Mount, Vista, uh, Mount Vernon, I'm sorry, I'm like right down that street, 2800 Gateway Avenue. Some of you guys, 
when you guys are driving on the highway, you see all the military vehicles. That is my office, that armory right there. 2800 Gateway Avenue, Army National Guard um, office, Sergeant Calico. And so that would be the best way. Honestly, the best way to really get my attention would be Instagram. A lot of you kids use it. I use it a lot. I'm always posting. And on there, I actually have the website link to the National Guard website. So if your parents okay. want to kind of look at that website, www.nationalguard.com is that website. Thank you for that. And thank you for coming to do this interview with us thank today. You. And thank you for providing more information on the National Guard. It was, it was a pleasure to be here and talk to you today. You too. Thank you. I'll be around campus as much as you guys want me around. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And remember Vikings, Wes is best. Oh,